In this video, we will be solving a problem in chemical equilibrium where we will determine the equilibrium constant for the reaction between hydrogen and iodine to form hydrogen iodide. In this case, you are provided with the initial concentrations of hydrogen and iodine. You are actually given the number of moles of hydrogen and iodine, which are the same. In this case, it is 0.1 mole. The volume of the container is 1 liter, therefore the concentration changes into 0.1 mole per liter. You are also provided with the equilibrium concentration of iodine that is present in the reaction mixture. In this case, the value is 0 0.020. Using this information, you are supposed to determine the equilibrium constant Kc for the reaction. The first thing we will do is we will create an ice table. An ice table indicates the initial concentration, the change in concentration, and using that information we can calculate the equilibrium concentration. Once you have an ice table, solving the problem will not be a difficulty. This is how the ice table is going to look. The first row represents the reactants and the products. In this case, it is hydrogen and iodine changing into hydrogen iodide. Then we will include the initial concentrations. The initial concentration for hydrogen is 0 0.100 mole per liter. It is the same for iodine too. However, the number of moles of hydrogen iodide when you start the reaction is zero. Next, we will record the change in concentration. In this case, we are going to assume that it has a value of x. If x moles of hydrogen reacts with x moles of iodine, it produces 2x moles of hydrogen iodide. Since as the reaction proceeds, the concentration of hydrogen is going to decrease, we assign a negative sign to the x. All reactants usually are represented using a negative sign. So minus x for hydrogen and minus x for iodine and positive 2x for the amount of hydrogen iodide that is formed and hydrogen iodide is the product. The next thing to do would be to determine the equilibrium concentration. This is how we do it. We subtract the change in concentration from the initial concentration or under hydrogen we would write it as 0 0.100 minus x. That's the same for iodine too. But in this problem, we are actually provided with the actual value for the equilibrium concentration of iodine. That value is 0 0.2 moles per liter. So using that information, we can determine the value of x. So this is how you calculate the value of x. 0 0.100 minus x is equal to 0 0.02 moles of iodine. So we are taking iodine as the example. And iodine concentration is the one that is given to us. And from that, if you solve for x, the value turns out to be 0 0.08 m. Now in the last column, we need to sub we need to substitute the value of hydrogen iodide. Hydrogen iodide is 2x, so 2 times x is going to be 2 times 0 0.08. The value is going to be 0 0.16 moles. So now you have the equilibrium concentration for hydrogen, for iodine, and for hydrogen iodide. Next, you need to substitute these values into the equilibrium constant expression that we have. For this reaction, the equilibrium constant expression is is represented as Hi the whole squared divided by H2 raised to 1 into I2 raised to 1. Substituting the values we get 0 0.16 the whole squared divided by 0 0.02 the whole squared. Mathematically the value of Kc becomes 64 and that is a correct answer. If you like the video please don't hesitate to rate, comment and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.